people so i'm back with another video so in this video i want to show you guys the properties that we have so we have 62 new listings so let's see what the cheapest property is i know they have some rentals so the cheapest property is fifty seven thousand dollars but that is a building so let's not count that sixty four thousand nine hundred dollars that is the cheapest one that they have for sale right now the most expensive one is $514,900. So, yep, that's the most expensive one, and then that's the cheapest one, you guys. Now, let's go ahead and go through the properties that I found for you guys. So, don't forget, too, if you guys want your own list of properties, go ahead and look down in the description, and I'll go ahead and text it and email you a list of properties. And, too, if you're in Wisconsin, I'm going to constantly keep sending you lists of properties. So, let's go ahead and look at the first one that I have, you guys. Now, this is a duplex. Now, I figure I want to get this duplex because it's, it's $120,000, which is low, which means that a lot of people, you guys can live here for so little. That means that if you're paying money where you're at, you might as well go into one of these. Or if you already in one of these, if this is your house, then you might as well just buy it because it'll be cheaper for you just to buy it than to keep renting there. So let's go ahead and look at these photos. So you can see they have like a nice little um, slab right there so you guys can drive drive into like a driveway. So this is their house, you guys. Don't forget too, people stay here. So be considerate when you guys um, look at these houses. Even sometimes people try to go to these houses. Be considerate that somebody actually stays there. Okay, so their living room is put together really nice. So that's good. This is the bathroom, bedrooms. And don't forget too, if you have, if you find one of these duplexes, they're gonna want you to stay in one unit. So a lot of times you may have to go ahead and remove somebody from the unit and then keep the other tenant, but you can easily decide based on like cleanliness, whoever is more clean, whoever's more clean, and whoever pays on time is a big thing too. So they get $600 for this unit. Well, I don't think I charge too much for rent then because I'm pretty sure you can raise this rent up, you guys. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom. That's big. And $600 a month, that's really cheap. And don't forget, too, when you find a place, say if you were to find this two family, you're like, oh, yeah, Rikita, I really like this one. You can raise the rents if you want to. You can do whatever you want to do. You just have to give them a certain, you have to just give them notice that you're going to raise the rent. And then, too, because like $600, I get that for a property. And it's not, not over here. <laughs> This is a better area, should I say, than where my property is at. So, yeah, this is the property. The pro they want one twenty fourth. The taxes is seventeen hundred dollars. Let's look at the mortgage. Oh, they don't have mortgage for us. So remember, I always tell you guys, if they don't have a mortgage. Let's look at the next property because we can use theirs. So this property costs more than this property. This is one hundred thirty five thousand. And if you were to get this property, which is next, it would be eight hundred. And $85 a month for this. So even at $600, you have to just pay that $285 plus the other expenses. So that's really good if you really think about it in terms of your how much you would pay to stay there. But I would still raise those rents up. I really would raise those rents up. A three-bedroom, one bath for $600, that seems pretty good, you guys. Maybe they've been there for years. I don't know. But I'm figuring that it's going to be less than the $885 to get that duplex. And don't forget you will have rental income there too. So let's go ahead and look at this property. So since we already have this up, we already know the mortgage would be $885. Down payment would be $4,700. But if you're doing a VA loan, you're looking at putting no money down. And then you're also looking at $814 as the payment for a VA loan. So let's go ahead and go into the photos. So I guess this is a kitchen here. And I really couldn't find too many properties. So I was just looking for stuff, you guys. Especially on like the lower price, the lower price range, too. Because some people want rentals, some people want to actually stay here. So I figure I want to find a lot of homes with the lower price range. I will get a different shower up there to you guys. That's easy to change. But like you got natural hardwood floors, that's good. I would change off this floor and go, this color is crazy. <laughs> Okay, it looked like somebody started painting it. Or maybe that's 
maybe they're already painting this what it looks like and this what it used to look like or maybe it's another side of it who knows but you can finish painting this too You can paint all that pattern in white. So you got a decent size yard out here, especially compared to they got an apartment unit. They don't have anything back there. So yep, that's that's that house, you guys. So don't forget that mortgage payment. Let's see, that mortgage payment is $885 for FHA. And you're looking at, it's a three bedroom, one bath. And you're looking at putting $4,700 down for that property. Now this property right here, it comes with, a, well, let's see if the other one comes with anything. Yeah, that one comes with a, a oven, refrigerator, dishwasher, and a washer. No dryer. <laughs> no dryer. But let's look at this property right here. It comes with an oven, a refrigerator, dishwasher, my, microwave, washer, and dryer. So they want $150,000 for it. The taxes is $3,100. If you were to have to pay a mortgage on this, your mortgage would be $1,004. Or if you're doing a VA loan, it'd be $925. Your down payment would be $5,200. So let's go ahead and look at these photos to see what you're paying for. So you can see you got a nice driveway, you guys. So that's good. You got a nice driveway there. Well, I like that you can come out here and sit. That is really nice. And I'm pretty sure you got area in the back. So it's the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. So this is, this is a nice, nice, cozy house. Don't forget they say all their appliances, all the appliances are included with the property. Here's a bedroom here. Here's the closet. Oh, this is really nice. Somebody can sit there and get all their work done, whatever they're doing. That's really, really nice. Okay, you guys. So they got a day bed in there. The bathroom. That a little thing there. Get your stuff there. So that's the yard. They have a yard here. And I'm guessing this is the garage. Yep, that was the garage, you guys. Oh, and it's a ramp too. I like that wheelchair chair ramp, you guys. So it's, you guys, that's really good. Okay, so that is that property all together. And don't forget that property is $1,000. That's how much more it should be for that property. So let's go look at this property here, you guys. I'm not really too excited about some of these properties today, you guys. But I guess there's still properties. I can see your personalized list. These are just the new homes that's on the market right now. Maybe because I've seen so many properties, it's like, oh, yeah. They can do better. <laughs> so that's the kitchen. Let's see if the appliances are included because you can see a dishwasher here, a fridge, a stove, and a microwave. So let's see if that is included with the property. Oh, that's nice. Granite countertops. That's really nice. There's the bedrooms. Here's the bathroom. You see, this is the basement. Now, I'm excited. Now, I love a finished basement, you guys. Ooh, I love a finished basement. You can tell because it's a window right here at the top. And, you know, usually windows are here on the house. It's right here at the top. So, that's good. So, they have a finished basement, which is really, really nice. And, like, they redid the sidewalk, too, the walkway. That's really good. Yep, so that is that property all together. Let's look at the um, details on that property. So if you want to get a mortgage, actually the mortgage is cheaper on this property than it is on this property. Don't forget this is in Milwaukee. That is in West Allis. The taxes is higher in West Allis. That's why this property is cheaper in Milwaukee. So don't forget this was $1,004. This one is $973. If you're doing a VA, it's $891 for this property here. Now let's look at the details on the property so it's a single family three bedroom one bath yeah the other property was like a thousand dollars more for taxes which is why your mortgage is higher so and you get the stove refrigerator and a dishwasher so i guess they're going to take the microwave with them because i think we've seen a microwave on that property so let's look at this property here so this property here, they want $205,000. The taxes is $3,500 for it. 
Um, let's look at the mortgage. So the mortgage on this property would be about $1,300. You're looking to put $7,100 down for that property. If you're doing a VA loan, don't forget VAs. They don't put any money down on it. They don't have any PMI, which you can see you got PMI here. PMI is um, mortgage insurance. So until you pay 20% of your mortgage down, you're going to have that mortgage insurance. So until you pay 20% of your mortgage off, you're going to keep having that. And their payment will be $1,192. So let's go ahead and look at these photos so we can see what they're, what you're paying for. So let's start by this, you guys. Look at this huge driveway. Huge, right? Look at this nice TV on the wall, too. I love those windows. Look at the kitchen. So beautiful. I gotta show my babes this because I think we should do something like this. I really love this compared to like cabinets, you guys. I just think they're so beautiful, that shelving. Oh, look at the bathroom, it's different. Look at the mirror, it's really different. Bathroom, kitchen again, nice floors throughout the whole house. Look at the floors, it's the bedroom. So I got nice, yeah, you can even get a bigger table in there and take this out if you wanted to. This is the basement. And like you could finish uh, closing this off at the top too. It looked like they didn't finish it. But you see, usually they have floors down here. So that's a plus. Another bedroom. This is the backyard here. Look at all this. This is nice. I love to have concrete. And I love the grass too, but I love to have concrete. I just couldn't imagine not having any concrete at all in the back. See, all this area, I would put a pool or something right there. Or even right here. Ooh, that's nice. It's a nice amount of yard there. Again, this is the living room again. The master bedroom. Another view of the basement. They have a bridge down here, which is really nice. Garbage can. Laundry area here. Okay, that's the that's the full house there, you guys. Let's look at the details on it. I don't think we looked at the details fully. So yeah, you'll get the oven, refrigerator, garbage disposal, the dishwasher, microwave, and a washer and dryer. All of that is included. They're gonna leave that here. So that is really nice, you guys. Let's look at our last property here, which is in Wauwatosa. So it's a single family, and it's three hundred and nine thousand dollars, almost three hundred ten. You just must say three hundred ten. So three hundred nine nine hundred. So let's go look and see what's included. So it's an oven, the refrigerator, the garbage disposal, dishwasher, and the microwave. And let's look at the mortgage information really quickly before we go through the photos. So it's twenty about twenty two thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars for the mortgage every month. You're looking to put about eleven thousand dollars down on this property. If you're doing a VA loan, you're looking to pay about two thousand dollars for the mortgage, a little under two thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and look at the photos. So this is really nice, you guys. I really like this house when I first seen it. I wish it was more open, but it's still clean and crisp. I love that. Nice, clean, and crisp. So this is the living room. And you see they still have like a small table in that kitchen. So that's really nice. The bathroom is here. The bedroom. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. <laughs> this is a bathroom. You can see they have a shower here. Shower in this bathroom. So those two different bathrooms. This is the basement down here, which is nicely finished. So you can come down here with your family. You can have family time in the basement. That's the front of the house. And don't forget for this property, you're looking at, let's look at the mortgage one more time. Details. So yeah, the mortgage should be $21.53. That's how much the mortgage should be for an FHA loan. So don't forget, you guys, look down in the description. If you want to list of homes, I can send you a list of homes. And don't forget, too, my phone number is here, which is 833. So you may see me calling. I'm not a bill collector. My phone number is 833. And then my name, Rakita. 
R I C K I T A. So you can just spell it out. That would be 833 742 5482. Go ahead and look down the description and I'll send you a personalized list of homes or the homes that you want to see. And make sure you let me know which city and state that you're in so I can go ahead and see you homes in that area that you want to buy. Thank you.